Hey guys, this is Rick from BI Gorilla. And in this video, I will show you how you can work with rounding the time from a daytime column or a time column. Now, why is this useful? In general, time columns are very expensive in your model to save. So some of the first time savings you could do is for example, split your daytime column into a separate date and time column. But then again, still the times are very expensive and you don't often need this level of granularity. So maybe the level of detail you need is for example, every 15 minutes. I'm gonna show you a trick here on how to do that and you'll be able to change this to round it to the nearest hour or half an hour just from the example as well. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we will do is we will provide a custom column and with this custom column, we are going to transform what the, what the time looks like in the daytime column we have right there. So we are gonna call this a rounded date time. Now the first thing we need to do is find out what number represents the daytime here. So we write number dot from, and you double click the daytime column, close your brackets, press okay. This is the number that represents uh, the daytime that we have here. Okay, that's step one. Then, if our goal is that we wanna show these in 15 minute intervals, then what we can do is first of all, we're gonna multiply everything by a factor that shows 60 minutes times 24 hours. So those are the amount of minutes in a day. And the result of this, you will divide by 15 to come back to your 15 minute intervals. So the number that we get here is very big because we have multiplied it by it. Now, it doesn't make much sense yet, but that doesn't matter. Just remember that these are the first steps. What you'll do next is, so because we are multiplying it by this, we still wanna round this number to, let's see. So we have intervals of 15 minutes now, and we wanna round it to the nearest number. So we could write round, um, number that round that's the power query function and then at the very end for your number round function you can round it with a zero and what this does is if you have a number for example here this uh, 56 and you round it to your closest 15 minutes it will go to the seven hours here but if you are on 24 it goes to 30 minutes and the nine will go to 15 because it always goes to the closest quarter that you can find Okay, so first of all, let's see what this does. We are rounding it, so the numbers behind the decimal are now removed. So we're not there yet. So this is the first part of our equation, but because we multiply it by this and then rounded the number, we can now again divide it by the same number that we have here. So first there was a multiplication and a rounding down, uh, just a general rounding of the number. And now we're gonna divide it again to get back to our, uh, to, to, to a daytime formatting. So now we press okay. And there are several uh, things that we can do now, but if you like, you can first of all, change the type here to daytime. And let's have a look at the results here. So by doing the transformation that we just did, four minutes before seven goes to seven. 24 minutes goes to 30 minutes, 54 minutes goes to eight mi uh, the whole hour. And the 15 minutes here stays at the 15. So this should reach our goal. Okay, we are going to adjust this in several ways. If we go back here, in the top here of the formula bar, you can find what we just did. And let me just paste that to a new line. So first there's the top part and look at these here. There's 15 minutes. And this factor, this variable here is important because if you don't want to round this to 15 minutes but to 30, you can just change this to 30 and this one to 30 as well. And then if you go back to the next step, you're gonna find that it now rounds down or up to the closest half hour. So the 24 goes to 30, 56 goes to zero, etc. And of course you can play with this. You could also make sure that this shows 60. And when it's 60, it actually rounds to the nearest hour. So this is very versatile. Now, something I still wanna show you is what we did right here was with an additional step. But perhaps you don't want all these extra steps. So you could actually put this into a single step. Now, what we can do, 
is first of all, I wouldn't want the change type step to be here. So we could say date time dot from, and then we wrap that around the entire equation that we have here. And then you see the results right away. So that's good. And just for it being easy, I'm just going to copy this entire code here and maybe just take the formatting away for now. Uh, let's see. So here we go. And then this is the line that we need to copy. Now, if we want to do all of this in a single step, uh, so I can just save everything. That's all right. And we go back. Now, let's say this is the starting position and you would want to transform these numbers to the rounded numbers to the closest 15 minutes. Now, where you could go to is you could go to transform and then perhaps you take, uh, let's see. Um, I could go to date and then perhaps it will say that I just want the date here. And as you'll find, there is a table transform columns coming in the top. And of course, what I just did is not the result that we want, but this is a helper step. So this helper step shows you what the syntax is for the formula that we're going to adjust. Okay. Now, what we're going to do different is the following. So the part that we have right here, daytime, is something that is now uh, applied to the daytime column. And what we're going to do instead is write each. And for each line, we're going to do um, uh, transformation. So if we paste this right here, the formula that we had earlier, then there is one thing left that we need to do. So we just copy pasted the formula we did before, but because within this line, the date time column is already uh, referenced, we can change this one here. This is the date time column reference. And we just write an underscore because it already knows that it's about the date time part. So now this was the starting position and this is now the ending position. And then I'm guessing that we can put this one at date time as well. Now, because part of this equation shows that you can do a data type, my guess is that we can even remove the date time part from and remove that here too. Um, no, we cannot. Okay. Perfect. So what I've shown you here is that with the formula that I just showed, where you first of all multiply everything by a factor, then you round your numbers down and basically you divide your number again by the factor that you just used. And by doing that, you're able to uh, round your numbers to the desired frequency. And with it, also the granularity of your column is highly reduced. So I hope that helped. If it did, I would appreciate a like. And if you're new to the channel, I'll be releasing much, much more. So subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. And I'll see you in the next video.